A former dry cleaning store is to blame, but as News 10's Brittany Earl explains, the cleanup process for the site has been ongoing for some time. It may just look like an empty lot, but back in the day stood a Brazil Indiana dry cleaning business, Adamson Fabric Care Service. No longer in business, now it's just a slab of dirt that left behind a chemical called perchloroethylene. Barry Sneed with IDEM says they see this often. It's a common dry cleaning agent also used in industrial sites to clean oil and grease off of metal. Recently, Brazil's $20 million road project along US 40 was put on hold due to this chemical PCE. Soil tests told INDOC crews the chemical had seeped outside the property of the former dry cleaners. The plume had traveled further than we had anticipated, and so it had traveled across US 40 and down the highway a little bit. So The question is, does this traveling leak pose a threat to the community? Each site really is kind of unique depending on how much of the chemical is in the water and how much is in the soil. IDEM is working with a company out of Indianapolis who's been excavating this plot since 2008. They plan to have the lot cleaned up and submitted for final approval by 2015. As for the recent discovery of PCE found under US 40, Sneed says it's not dangerous. It had a potential of impacting human health, um, then certainly the, the efforts would be escalated. So. Um, we don't have a circumstance like that. The homes near the site are on city water, so this does not affect anyone's drinking water. As for US 40, IDEM and INDOT are in the beginning phases of a cleanup process. In Brazil, with photojournalist Tony Cassacia, Brittany Earl, News 10. IDEM says it's too early to say how long the cleanup process will take along US 40, but a work plan and treatment process has been approved.